Good morning all. I hope you all are fine. Today I came with a new poem. Classics English. The wonderful words. Before going to the poem, we should know about our poet Mary O'Neill. Mary Devonport O'Neill was born on 3rd August 1879 in Barracksbridge, Lauria, County Galway. She was an Irish poet and dramatist and a friend and colleague of W.B. Yeats, George Russell and Austin Clark. Children, this poem is all about the role and importance of language and language skills. Man is a gifted animal who can think and speak. Every man knows at least one language, as it is a must to give expression to thoughts, ideas and feelings. Let us study the poem. Never let a thought shrivel and die for want of a way to say it. For English is a wonderful game. Children, never let a thought shrivel. Shrivel means shrink or to wither. Never let a thought shrivel and die for want of a way to say it. For English is a wonderful game. Here our poet Mary O'Neill, she is saying that Never let any idea or thought die. Never let it go without giving it expression. Our words, they will not go without giving it expression. Just because you don't know how to speak or how to use the right words. Never let a thought shrivel and die for want of a way to say it. For English is a wonderful game. Wonderful game. Never let it go without giving it expression. Just because you don't know how to speak or how to use the right words. Our English is a very rich language full of treasures. For English is a wonderful game. English is a very rich language full of treasures. And all of you can play it. All that you do is match the words to the brightest thoughts in your head so that they come out clear and true and handsomely groomed and fed for many of the loveliest things have never yet been said. Here the poet says, she is saying that all of you can play it, that means Everyone can use it effectively. Every, everyone can use the wonderful words effectively. Everyone can use our language very effectively. All that you do is match the words to the brightest thoughts in your head so that they come out clear and true. And what we should do? You can find the perfect words for the thoughts or ideas in your head and give it a clear expression. You can find the perfect words. You can do is match the words for the thoughts or ideas in your head and give it a clear expression so that people can understand it clearly and nicely. Children, so people can understand it clearly and nicely. Don't think that you cannot do it. And handsomely groomed and fed. Groomed and fed means nurtured. And handsomely groomed and fed for many of the loveliest things have never yet been said. Children, there are yet many good things around us. There are many good things. The most beautiful ones which have not been said and done just because of lack of groomed and fed that means lack of nurturing lack of lack of words and knowledge the most beautiful ones which have not been said and done just because of lack of words and knowledge here the poet is laying stress on learning a language correctly and completely
Words are the food and dress of thought. They give it its body and swing. And everyone's longing today to hear some fresh and beautiful thing. But only words can free a thought from its prison behind your eyes. Maybe your mind is holding now a marvelous new surprise. Till then, words are the food and dress of thought. Our poet is saying that our words are the food and dress of thought. They give it its body and swing, and everyone's longing today to hear some fresh and beautiful thing. Our poet is saying that words give a structure to any thought or idea in our mind. Words give a structure to any thought or any idea in our mind. The poet is saying that never think that we do not have any new thoughts. Don't think we don't have any new thoughts. Our thoughts should be explored and searched. They need to come out. Our poet is saying that we don't we don't have any not new thoughts. Don't think like that. We have new thoughts. So our thoughts should be explored and such. They should come out. But only words can free a thought from its prison behind your eyes. Maybe your mind is holding now a marvelous new surprise. Children, thoughts and ideas are caged in, in our minds. Poet is saying that. Thoughts and ideas are caged in our minds. If anything can set them free, that is, words. Every thought is like a prisoner or a caged bird in our mind. The poet is saying like this, every thought is like a prisoner or a caged bird in our mind. We can set that idea free with the help of words. With the help of words, we can set that idea free. Maybe your mind is holding now a marvelous new surprise. It is quite possible that the thought may be marvelous. Words alone can give clear and beautiful expression to thoughts and ideas. Till then, words can give clear and beautiful expression to thoughts and ideas. Words alone can end them pray. So, it is a must to learn and perfect our language. So children, in this poem we studied, the words we speak bring out our thoughts. Expressing our thoughts using proper words is a wonderful game to play. So, we should express our thoughts through beautiful words. I hope you understand the poem. Thank you.